Awesome guys, welcome back to another video on the Fearless Knit YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over my round 11 2022 AFL tips slash predictions. And obviously, as well as that, I'm gonna be going over my my round 10 um, predictions from last week and seeing how I went. Before we get into it, if you could please leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. We just hit 250 subscribers, so thank you all so much for that, it really means a lot. Uh, I was very happy when I saw that uh, today. Nonetheless, thank you so much for that. And yeah, hope you enjoy them to like, share, subscribe uh, to the channel, help out the channel a whole lot. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get stuck in away. So like every week um, that we do on these tipping videos, we go over the previous round um, of games that have just happened. Starting off this week, obviously with round 10, seven out of nine um, for uh, round 10. I'm actually a little bit disappointed by that. Um, and if, you're wa if you've watched the previous tipping video, you'll probably understand why. Um, but nonetheless, first game, Marvel Stadium, Carlton v Sydney on Friday night. The Blues were just too good for the Swans in this one and uh, really have cemented themselves as a top four contender this year. Um, but yeah, obviously tipped the Blues by 12 points. They won by 15. Great start to the round for myself. Um, next game at GMHBA Stadium, uh, we got the Cats and Port Adelaide. Um, and yeah, pretty typical uh, Geelong performance, it has to be said. Uh, the Cats were just uh, too good for the Port Adelaide boys um, at GMHBA Stadium, um, a ground where the Cats are very, very familiar at. Um, but yeah, just a pretty typical Geelong win, that's all I really have to say about that game. Got that tip right as, um, yeah, as expected. Uh, uh, the next game at Mars Stadium between the Dogs and the Suns. This was a very interesting game, however the Dogs were just too good in the end. Um, and starting to get a little bit of their bite back um, this season, the Dogs, um, which is good to see. You know, they've had a really shaky start to this year. But to back it up, I think that's three wins in a row now. Um, yeah, it's really good stuff from the Dogs. The Suns stayed in it, but the Dogs just too good in the end. Next game at Marvel Stadium, probably the most game that not many people care about. No, North Melbourne and Melbourne. Um, yeah, once again, don't really have much to say about this game. The D's were just the far superior side, and um, yeah, North Melbourne, um, if you've been hearing the latest uh, news around North Melbourne, it's not looking good for uh, the Roos cult culture-wise um, at the moment. I think they just uh, let three of their list managers go or something like that. Anyways, uh, the D's got the job done there pretty comfortably at Marvel Stadium, as they should. Next game at Adelaide Oval between the Saints and the Crows. The Saints, um, well, I should say the Crows, first of all, um, yeah, um, put on a really, really good show, uh, the Crows, um, in that game. Uh, they just couldn't kick straight. The Saints were far more deadly going inside 450. Um, Max King, I think, kicked six goals, um, had probably one of his best games for the Saints. And yeah, the Saints just too good for the Crows in that final quarter, which was ultimately the difference. And got that tip right as well. Next game, dream time at the MCG between Richmond and Essendon. And the Tigers got the job done. We, abs we are absolutely flying at the moment. Um, I, that, I think that's four in a row, I think now, um, for the Tigers in good form at the moment. I'm liking what I'm seeing from the Tigers boys. And uh, yeah, hopefully that can continue this, continue it again. Uh, in the next coming weeks, because I think we've got a pretty tough run the next couple of weeks. But next game at Giants Stadium um, between the Giants and the Eagles, and I don't really have much to say about this game. The Giants were just the far superior side in this one. And credit though to West Coast, I think that might be their highest score, 86 for the season, um, and they still didn't win the game. So that just shows how far off they are. Got that tip right. Now this next game, this was the game that I should have got right. I should have got this right. If you remember from the video, Hawthorne Brisbane, I tipped Hawthorne in the video, but then about, oh, I think it was on Friday, um, where I, I think it was on Friday or Saturday where I changed it to Brisbane and oh my goodness me, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I just thought maybe, you know, the Hawks, they've given up a few games this year to uh, obviously Sydney. Um, I think they really should have almost beaten Melbourne. Um, yeah, they just, 
I just thought the Lions would find a way to do it, but the Hawks won, and I feel really bad because I tipped the Hawks in the video, and I didn't stick with them, so that really annoyed me. Um, and yeah, the last game of the round, we all know what happened there. Fremantle and Collingwood, um, wet weather footy does not suit the Dockers. I think they're probably, they've got to be the worst side um, in the wet weather, the Dockers. Um, the Pies, a very impressive win over in Perth. Definitely didn't see that one coming. Um, but yeah, 7 out of 9. Should have got 8 out of 9. I don't know why I changed to Brisbane in the end. It was a silly move by me. But nonetheless, those are my round 10 tips. Now let's move on to the round 11. Alrighty, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Round 11. Um, so it all starts on Friday night. Um, I do kind of miss the Thursday night games if I'm going to be honest, but nonetheless um, Starting off with Friday night absolute blockbuster here at the SCG between uh, Sydney and Richmond. This is a massive game um, in terms of the uh, top eight um, Race at the moment both these sides sitting seventh and eighth respectively if you, as you can see down there somewhere there I think um, yeah, uh, the Swans, um, they're in some uh, okay form at the moment, um, the Swans, they've had a poor fortnight, but um, you know, they've, they've sort of backed it up um, quite at, quite good at the moment, uh, the Swans, um, yeah, they're playing some decent footy, the Tigers as well playing really good footy at the moment, at the SCG, the last time Richmond were there, um, I think they lost by almost 120. Um, so I hope that doesn't happen again. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since Richmond have played at the SCG. Mm, I feel like this is the one we could slip up on here. Um, this is almost a coin flip though. If Richmond play their best footy, they could be on here. Oh, I'm gonna go the Swans, I think. No, 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 that's not stuff it. I'm gonna go Richmond um, uh, to win. Um, yeah, it could be a little bit biased, but anyway, I'm gonna tip the Tigers by 15 points. Could be a little bit of an upset there. Um, I don't think many people would back us in against um, the the Swans. The Swans did just come off a loss to uh, Carlton. That was at Marvel Stadium. Um, however, if Gold Coast can beat Sydney at the SCG, then we surely have a chance to win this. I reckon we're actually a pretty okay chance to win this. Um, Richmond, so I'm going to tip us by 15 points. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like we will uh, at least put up a fight. I may get that tip wrong. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm backing in my team. Um, next game at um, on Saturday, I should say, at 145. I thought it was another Friday game for a second there. Um, we've got Brisbane up against the Giants. The Lions, um, yeah, had a bit of a slip up against Hawthorne. I don't know what happened in that last quarter. Um, but yeah, they owe me one, Brisbane, big time. Um, yeah, I tipped them. I changed my tip to Brisbane because I thought, you know, I, I want to get this straight. I want to get a perfect round. That didn't happen. Um, yeah, they, they owe me one, the Lions, that's for sure. I'm going to tip them, though. I, I think they will be too strong for the Giants at the Gabba. Um, yeah, I'm going to tip the Lions pretty comfortably in that one. Um, next game at GMHBS Stadium between Geelong and Adelaide. This is the... The second Adelaide side, um, Geelong have played in a row. They played Port Adelaide last week, and now they get a chance to get potentially two wins in a row here against the Crows. The Crows are in a little bit of a slump at the moment. I think I think people have actually maybe over slightly overrated the clock, the the Crows. The Crows, I should say. Um, yeah, I think they've been slightly overrated. The Crows. I don't know. They should have won last week against the Saints, um, and didn't. So yeah, I'm going to tip. Geelong in that one. I feel like at GMHBA, the Cats will just cruise home to a nice 20-point victory um, at the Cattery. And yeah, I don't think the Crows will trouble them too much. They shouldn't anyway. Um, next game at the MCG between the Ds and the Dockers. Now, if you had asked me who would win this game about a month or maybe less than a month ago, about three weeks ago, I would have said... Maybe Fremantle are a chance, but considering they've lost, I think, two in a row now um, to Gold Coast and Collingwood, two pretty mediocre sides at the moment. Um, yeah, they are in a bit of form slump, uh, the Dockers at the moment. So I think at the MCG, I think the Ds should be okay in that one, I think. 
Um, I mean, the Dockers, they can they can do anything, the Dockers, this season. Obviously, we saw them beat uh, Geelong at GMHBA Stadium this year. So they can do it outside of Victoria, and they demolished Essendon at Marvel as well. So they're definitely a sniff, uh, the Dockers, um, to pinch this one. But um, I think the Ds are just going to keep on winning. They will lose at some point, Melbourne. They will lose at some point, but it won't be yet, um, I don't think. Next game at Optus Stadium, a pretty easy tip here between West Coast and the Bulldogs. I think you'd be pretty silly to tip West Coast at this point. Um, I don't know where to look for West Coast at the moment. Um, you know, they score 86 points and still lose um, by 52, which is a little bit embarrassing. Um, yeah, the Bulldogs, though, they're, fl they're, they're starting to get bang some good wins now. They've, um, I believe... Uh, obviously, they destroyed Collingwood. I think they um, may have beaten someone before that. Um, actually, I don't know. They just beat uh, Gold Coast uh, before. And, uh, yeah, now they're coming up against West Coast. So they shouldn't really have a problem here, uh, the Doggies. And they beat North Melbourne as well. So they're starting to gather some good momentum here, uh, the Doggies. So I think they should be okay in that one against West Coast. Next game at TIO Stadium in Darwin. We've got the Gold Coast Suns up against Hawthorne um, in Darwin. So this will be played on neutral territory, um, or Northern Territory, I should say. Um, yeah, we've got... Uh, the Suns were okay against uh, the Bulldogs. They weren't outstanding, but they weren't horrible either. Um, and the Hawks, very impressive win against uh, the second-place Brisbane Lions. Um, I could see the Hawks winning. I probably owe the Hawks fans a tip um, for last week. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to tip Hawthorne, and I'm not going to change this time. I'm not going to change from Hawthorne this time. Um, I, I do really rate Gold Coast, and I feel like they have definitely a chance to win this. Um, but I just feel like Hawthorne, the way they're going, they can be inconsistent, the Hawks. So wouldn't surprise me if they drop this, but... Yeah, I, just because I sort of owe the Hawks fans uh, a tip for last week, uh, I've got to, I've got to tip the Hawks. I think I just have to, just for just for justice' sake. I think I have to do the Hawks justice there, and uh, tip them in this one by close. It'll be close though. I reckon it'll be about a goal the difference. I think it'll be very close. Uh, next game at Marvel Stadium, we got the Saints and North Melbourne. Once again, you'd be a brave man to tip North Melbourne the way they're going. So I think it's pretty easy. Um, to say the Saints will win this pretty comfortably. I'm saying around um, probably 40, 50 points. I think it'll be a good victory for St Kilda. Saints are flying at the moment. They're really pushing for that top four, top four spot this year. I don't think they'll get it. I think they'll just miss out on the top four. I think they will finish around fifth or sixth though. Um, the Saints are playing some really good footy and I feel like they will, yeah, just, just toy with North Melbourne um, on Sunday afternoon at 1.10. Second last game of the round and another absolute blockbuster. We got Collingwood and Carlton, the traditional rivalry between these two sides. Uh, the Blues, they, well, they are absolutely flying at the moment, the Blues. Um, I think if we scroll back up here, yeah, they are level points with Brisbane right now. So if Brisbane somehow drop a game to GWS and Carlton win this, Carlton will be second on the ladder. Can you believe that? Um, but... Yeah, um, Collingwood, um, we should talk about Collingwood. They were just as impressive on the weekend, getting a good, a very good victory over the um, the very, very highly rated Frio um, on Sunday afternoon, which is the last game of the round last week. I feel like Collingwood always rise to the occasion every time they play Carlton, but then again, this time last year almost, I think Carlton did win against Collingwood even last year. But then again, Collingwood weren't much of a team last year, so it um, wasn't that impressive. But I think the way Carlton are playing right now, I think it's I think it's a bit too hard to go past them. I could see Collingwood winning this, though, after last week. They are definitely a chance. Do not rule Collingwood out in this game. But I feel like Carlton have just got enough experience, and I feel like there'll be a, there'll be a very mature performance from a very young side in the uh, Blues. And the last game of the round... We got Sunday at 4.40 at Adelaide Oval. We got the Power and the Bombers. Um, Port Adelaide, um, a little bit of a blip in the radar against Geelong. 
um, they shot, they t really, um, really, um, yeah, played really well in that uh, first half against the Cats, and the Cats just took over in that second half, as they do to most sides. The Bombers, um, I think it's probably season over. Apologies, Bombers fans. I know there are a couple of you who watch my videos. Um, I think it's season over for the Bombers. I think I think Port Adelaide shouldn't have a problem here, um, especially in Adelaide. I think it will just be a very easy win um, for the Port Adelaide boys in this one. Um, and I just rate the power um, higher than... Well, more highly than the uh, the Bombers at the moment. I, I, I really like how the Power have responded after a really slow start to the season. And the Bombers, they really haven't responded to their slow start to the season. Um, so, yeah, I think it's pretty comfortable to say the Power should win this by around 20 points. Um, I would like to see the Bombers bring something, but I think in the end, Port Adelaide <clears throat> will just be too good in the end for these young Bombers. So I've saved my tips there. So we'll go back over uh, my predictions um, for this round. I'm tipping Port Adelaide over Essendon um, there at Adelaide Oval. I'm tipping Carlton over Collingwood in the grudge match. I'm tipping St Kilda over North Melbourne at Marvel Stadium. I'm tipping Hawthorne over Gold Coast. I, I feel like that one could go either way though. I think both sides are pretty evenly matched at the moment. Um, both dark horses in this season. Um, tipping the Dogs over West Coast, no surprise. Tipping the Ds over Frio, no surprise. Tipping Geelong over Adelaide, no surprise. Tipping Brisbane over GWS, which is no surprise. And I'm tipping Richmond over Sydney, which is a little bit of a, you'd say a mini upset, I think, um, there. So, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, tipping the Tigers by 15 uh, in that one over the Swans. And obviously, before we go, um, we got to just check something. Go to Feel Snick Comp. And there it is. There is the ladder after round 10. So, St. Ly 12 is in first. Um, he's one tip above Shannon Humphreys. Um, he did steal the lead off Shannon Humphreys um, last week. Um, so, yeah, good on good on you, Ben P. You are, yeah, you're doing very well at the moment, mate. Um, Shannon Humphreys, obviously, in second on 62 tips. I'm still in third. I'm still four tips away. I probably should be three tips away. I'm going to stop um, reminding myself that I should have tipped, sort of stayed with Hawthorne. But anyways, um, yeah, Phil Snick, uh, myself, um, in third there. Um, doing all right. I mean, yeah, but it's getting really, really tight um, here. We've got AFL Weekly, who has jumped into the top four um, here on 57 tips and he's starting to close in on me. So um, Yeah, I got to start banking um, a few good rounds. I think I think a few sevens and eights would be quite nice um, for me anyway uh, We got Khan the Catters who has dropped a, a rank. I think he's gone from fourth to fifth AFL Weekly uh, Has overtaken him due to the margin. I think is the difference at the moment um, yeah, but yeah, he's in fifth, Khan the Catters or Sam H, whatever he prefers to be called. We've got Louis still in sixth. I think he's slowly climbing. Um, not obviously um, at the moment, he still stayed sixth, but he's slowly getting there. Um, we've got Victor B, those two are still tied, sixth and seventh. And uh, Lincoln Barton still down on the bottom uh, uh, at the moment on 46 tips. Um, but then again, um, as you can see here, um, pretty much all of us here, except Khan the Catters or Sam H, got a 7 out of 9 this week, um, which is really, really good. I should have got 8. Okay, I'm going to stop saying that now. Um, but nonetheless, uh, those are my round 11 tips, and that is my ladder up. So there we go, guys. That is uh, my round 11 tips for this upcoming round. Comment down below uh, your tips for this round uh, coming up. Um, comment down below how your team went on the weekend. Comment down below how you went on the weekend. And uh, yeah, all that good stuff down below. Also, like the video, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for 250 subs. Um, that's a massive goal to hit. Um, and hopefully we can get to 300 soon. Um, at the rate we're going, we're probably on track to get it um, before the end of the year at the rate we're going. But you also join my tipping comp, link down below um, in the description. Um, and also, um, recreating AFL Guernsey's part two has been slightly delayed 
due to the fact I have exams coming up, mid-year exams after school and all that. So I'm going to delay that video just a week or two, a bit longer, just so I can get through this week pretty easily. But nonetheless, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, as I said. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!